Hi everybody and welcome to Beatle Dave's Beatles channel. Today's video is the Beatles 1991 cassette singles collection. Don't go away. So hello and a very warm welcome to Beatle Dave's Beatles channel today. I do hope that you're all having a very beatly Christmas and that you're all keeping safe and well and I'm really glad that you've joined me today. So the show in today is the fabulous Beatles cassette singles collection from 1991 and incredibly it's 30 years old already. That is absolutely unbelievable. And also I will be showing an extra item at the end which is related to that item also. So stick around for that one. Anyway, before I do, it's time for... I call your name. So yes, it's them old shout outs. And we're gonna be saying hi to Edward Russell, Dave Eaglestone, hi Dave, Rob Britton, Bent L, Angelica Ramirez, hi Angelica, ID Chapel One, Samo Set Four Beatles Vinyl, and Fab Four Fan. That's a big hi from yours truly, Beatle Dave. So on to the main event today, which is the Beatles Cassette Singles Collection and also a very special related item. Please come and join me. Released on the 12th of August 1991, the Beatles cassette singles box set features the entire UK 22 Beatles singles from 1962 to 1970. As you would expect, the artwork is pretty much the same as the Blue Singles collection from 1982, except the All You Need Is Love and Hey Jude tapes which are based on the 20th anniversary artwork. Each cassette has the TC prefix before its original UK 45 catalogue number and every tape has the A and B side playing on both sides of the tape for convenience. You can only get the display box if you brought the whole set generally, however they were sold separately at around £2 to £2.49 each at the time. The flimsy construction of the lid is not the best feature and clearly it could easily rip because of this. So let's take a look. So the box itself is of a very thin card construction considering the weight of the 22 cassette singles inside. So on the front we have all the singles, the names of them, well most of them anyway, all the main sides. And then on the side of the Beatles, singles collection on cassette. Then on the reverse, all the A and B sides or double A sides and the catalogue numbers. So this is how the storage box would look if you went into your local record store and they had this on the counter displaying all the cassettes for sale. And obviously if you brought the complete set of cassettes you would get this display box as well. So the first cassette is Love Me Do with PS I Love You and the catalogue number for this is TCR4949. And there's the reverse. And these have all got barcodes on as well. And these are all chrome recorded cassettes. And here's the actual cassette itself. And has both tracks on both sides. So the second cassette is Please Please Me and Ask Me Why. And the catalog number for this one is TCR4983. And all the artworks are based on the 1982 Beatles collection box set, singles collection that is. And here's the, the cassette. These are all in slip cases, as you can see. And that's on the reverse. Both songs, both sides. And then on to From Me To You with Thank You Girl. And the catalogue number for this one is TCR5015. These are such fabulous little cassettes. They really are very well made. And actually, I've never played any of these cassettes, actually. This is the first time they've been out for quite some time. So on to She Loves You and I'll Get You. 
and the catalogue number for this one is TCR5055. That's the cassette. If you see any of these about, then normally you see these for around on eBay for between 10 and 15 pounds. It's quite expensive when you think about it, just for a little cassette, but they are quite rare now. And it is 30 years old already. And then we've got I Want to Hold Your Hand with this boy. And the catalogue number for this one is TCR5084. And that's the reverse. And the spine. And there's a the cassette. Moving on to Can't Buy Me Love and You Can't Do That. And the catalogue number for this particular cassette is TCR5114. Let's take a look at the cassette then. So on to the fabulous A Hard Day's Night and Things We've Said Today. And the catalogue number for this one is tcr 5160. Got some Hard Day's Night artwork there going on. Absolutely fantastic 64 single. Really brilliant. So moving on to another wonderful single, we have the I Feel Fine and She's a Woman single. And the catalogue number for this one is TCR5200. Absolute glorious single, this one. released just in time for the Christmas market in 1964 with the feedback at the beginning on to ticket to ride and yes it is and the catalogue number for this one is TCR 5265 another fantastic single with a b-side not on any albums at the time On to Help and I'm Down, catalogue number TCR5305. That's great, I love that little thing there, that really looks really fantastic. I believe that's on the little three inch CD singles as well, so most of these graphics are very, very similar. And same sort of colours that they used as well. On to the first double A side single that the beat was ever released with Day Tripper and We Can Work It Out. Catalog number is TCR5389 on this particular cassette. Another single released just in time for the Christmas market. Moving on to Paperback Writer and Rain. This one's catalog number TCR5452. An absolute glorious single. One of my favorite singles of all time, Beatles wise. Really fabulous. So on to the Beatles second double A side, which is Yellow Submarine and Eleanor Rigby. And the catalogue number is TCR5493. Another fabulous single. With Ringo on lead vocals. And then on to the fabulous Strawberry Fields Forever and Penny Lane. Catalogue number for this one is TCR5570. Probably my favourite Beatles single of all time. I don't think you get much better really. Such experimental, fabulous stuff. So moving on to All You Need Is Love and Baby You're a Rich Man. Catalogue number is TCR5620. And this is a 20th anniversary artwork that they used. And then the cassette. On to Hello Goodbye and I Am The Warris. And the catalogue number for this one is TCR5655. And then a cassette. 
And then Lady Madonna with The Inner Light, first single of 1968. The catalogue number for this one is TCR 5675. I do like the pink on this one, looks really good. So moving on to Hey Jude and Revolution, catalogue number for this one is TCR 5722. And once again they use the 20th anniversary artwork. And this is probably out of all the all the cassettes. I would soon imagine this is probably the longest clocking in at around about ten minutes. So moving on to the next one, which is Get Back with Don't Let Me Down. Catalog number on this one is TCR five triple seven. And this is the final Beatles mono single. And these are all mono mixes up to and including this particular single. So the first stereo cassette single is the Ballad of John and Yoko with Old Brown Shoe and the catalogue number is TCR5786. And was the final Beatles UK number one single. Moving on to something and come together. George's first A side, and this is actually a double A side anyway, but obviously something is the first track. And the catalogue number for this one is TCR5814. This one did not make number one in the UK, which is a bit of an injustice, as the A side or the main A side is such a fabulous track. Well, both tracks are fabulous, but something is very special. So finally then we've got Let It Be with You Know My Name, Look Up The Number, catalogue number TCR5833, Beatles Final UK Single. So I promised you something special and a little bit different. So this is a prototype apparently which I've been told for the Beatles cassette singles collection. Very, very different box. Very, very well made box. Has a sloping lid, as you can see. And all 22 singles are all lined up in a row like that. The lid has got some sort of plastic coating holding it together there to the base. And then the cassettes, all the UK cassettes, which I've just shown you, and they're all set inside some sort of sponge at the bottom, which they all sit in lovely and snug. So this is an absolutely incredible set to see. Really is very, very well made. It would have probably cost rather much more money than the cardboard box, which the original set came out in. So it's probably understandable how this box really never went into production. Incredible though. So thank you all for joining me today on Beatle Days Beatles channel. I really hope that you've enjoyed what you've seen. And now we've been going since August and the channel's really been growing and taking off. And I really hope I can deliver more quality videos for you guys in 2022. Always give me a bit of feedback so that I know I'm doing the right thing. I'll always reply to you guys as soon as I can also. So next week, it's time again for part three of my Beatles original UK album series which will of course be on the album A Hard Day's Night and any variations I'll have. So why not join me again, same Beatles time, same Beatles channel. So anyway, as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. 
Have a lovely rest of your Christmas, guys. Thanks very much. This is Beetle Dave signing off.